Hey, David Holmgren, K9AT, and uh, I'm in my backyard. It's such a beautiful day. It's uh, early February, and it's uh, 45 degrees, so it's a nice spot to uh, start my video. So um, this video is going to be about reflectors. No, 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 not that reflector. Electronic reflector. No, 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 not blinking electronic reflectors. This reflector. And it's going to be connected to a hotspot. No, not a hot plate. No, it's a hot spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. An RF hotspot. It's something we use as ham radio operators to connect our radios to the internet. You know, when the sunspot cycle is not so good, or we wanted to uh, have reliable long distance communication between states and countries. So um, this video is going to be uh, focused on one particular mode using a hotspot, and that is the YSF mode. So what I did is I created a YSF reflector, and I'm going to show you how I did it today. And as a bonus, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to show what I did with that reflector. So stick around. Before I begin this video, I'm going to comment on hot spots. Uh, these are kind of controversial, and uh, some hams uh, feel that they're not real radio, okay? Well, just because the hotspot is connected to the internet and you're using the HT to get to another repeater or another place on the internet uh, that happens to be connected uh, via the internet, that's radio, you know, that that's done, okay? Uh, I, it doesn't use the uh, sky waves or ground waves or the ionosphere, no. But you know what? All those modes using the ionosphere, you know, they're only good it, with peak sunspot cycles for maybe three or four years. I mean, I'm talking like the 10, 15 uh, meter bands, uh, 17 and 20, maybe, uh, you know, in low sunspot activity are active. Uh, and then, of course, 40 and 80 using the ground wave are good all the time, even when sunspot cycles are low. So, you know, this is an option for using the radio on RF and talking to your other ham friends, you know, in distant states or around the world, uh, using the internet. co.uk. And so I'll put the link to the website in the comments in the text. So I'll just scroll through this uh, briefly. You can read it at your own pace, but um, it's, uh, it, it tells uh, how to use the Raspberry Pi. And uh, I've got a Raspberry Pi 4 uh, connect, configured with this software and uh, downloaded the um, uh, image and uh, wrote the image with a uh, program called Balan Etcher, which is a program that uh, uses the uh, um, software to write the image to the uh, uh, micro SD. So it, it steps you through uh, going through this uh, process of um, once it uh, comes up and you got to go in and go do all these uh, Linux commands. It's it's not that difficult. And so once uh, the uh, program is uh, installed and then you reboot the um, Raspberry Pi, then um, it will work. Okay, so this is the open spot for, this is a hotspot that's really, really pretty cool. And it's, it um, goes on sale periodically. Uh, uh, Black Friday or over Christmas, but uh, you you can only order this from Estonia. <laughs> uh, 
they don't sell it at HRO and uh, other places uh, like Gigaparts in the States. Uh, this, this is my favorite because I've got uh, five hotspots and this is by far uh, my, my favorite. And so what's happening now is uh, you're seeing someone come across on the open spot four and uh, they're transmitting. So uh, I would hear them if uh, the radio was turned on. Next, I will show the how to create the reflector connection on the reflector itself. Okay, this is where you go to register your reflector. And uh, so what the process is, is uh, you gotta create your account, uh, register the reflector. So I won't go through that uh, because it's very simple. Uh, but what I will show you is my reflector in the list. And so uh, in order to get a numerical uh, description here, I'm gonna have to organize it for by numeric n numbers. Let's see, mine is right there. So it's 36633 uh, Northern Illinois, actually US Northern Illinois, uh, K9RUF. And, uh, and um, what I've done, and this is the surprise that I'm gonna show you, um, I've uh, managed to connect my reflector to my repeater, and I'm gonna show you how I did it. Uh, and it's, uh, it's really kind of cool. So when I transmit on my hotspot, uh, my voice goes out over my local repeater that I'm uh, coordinated on uh, through the ILRA, uh, Illinois uh, Repeater Association in uh, Illinois. And um, so it's uh, synced on, as they said right here, uh, my repeater, uh, which is 147.24 in Ingleside, Illinois. So that's, uh, that's kind of cool. Okay, this is my uh, RF dashboard for my US Northern Illinois 36633 repeater. And you can see up at the top, uh, it's uh, got the name and uh, my call sign and the repeater. And uh, also what, what you uh, see is all the people that have connected to it. So I'm in my basement now, and this is the WiresX program running on this PC connected to the HRI 200 right there. And so originally this is what I had for my uh, VHF repeater, and I still have it. Um, and But I was looking to connect my repeater to my newly created YSF reflector. And because my repeater was on VHF and the hotspots run on UHF, I couldn't do the traditional RF relay link. Uh, and instead, and this is the way I did it, and it works, um, I created a, another room and connected that room to my repeater. Now, uh, obviously, with uh, Wires X, this is kind of a difficult <laughs> subject to uh, talk about, but um, the Wires X connection, you are not always in your room. You got to put yourself in your room, and then when you're in the room, the repeater will show up on here. So, this connection is coming from my second Wires X computer up here. And this is the uh, HRI 200 for the second uh, connection. And this is my node radio. And it's set to the frequency of my RF hotspot. And the hotspot is the open spot three. And here's the computer. It's a little knock right there. So anyways, so, so this is how I uh, did it. Now this normally would require two separate internet connections. And fortunately I have two internet services at my house. That way each Wires X connection can be on each service because the ports that you have to open for Wires X, so you can't have two computers connected to those same ports with different IPs. And finally, here's my DR2X up there running for the repeater. So this is the, uh, the back end 
of the system. So let me take you upstairs and show you the HTs in operation. Okay, so this is my repeater, 14724, and this is my open spot three. So when I transmit on my repeater, the open spot will show up. Okay, and then likewise, when I transmit on my open spot, which is connected to the reflector, though that connection comes through too. So in other words, uh, from my reflector that I've created with the Raspberry Pi 4, I can connect and talk to my repeater, and from my repeater, I can get back to my reflector that I've created. Pretty cool stuff, right? Okay, so this ends this video. Uh, this is a video that I could not find on the YouTube universe. So uh, I'm, I'm the first to assemble all the details, building the reflector, uh, connecting the hotspot, and then finally connecting the reflector to my repeater. So now when I'm traveling um, anywhere in the world, um, I can get back to my repeater uh, via my hotspot with my reflector at home. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and tell uh, others about this and uh, my channel. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. 7-3.